Coming up on this week's Scroll Digital, we'll show you of one exciting event that was held to celebrate the longest day of the summer. And we'll show you what happens to all those items that get lost over the course of the semester. All this and more, Scroll Digital starts now. Our top story this week, summer is officially here. The summer solstice took place June 21st, marking the first day of the new season. To celebrate, social activities teamed up with the Summer Fun Shack to bring the annual summer solstice carnival to Rexburg. Held on the upper fields, residents came and participated in activities ranging from a climbing wall and singing to even a giant slip and slide. I think they should definitely come next year because it's always the funnest event. It's summertime, you get to enjoy the sun, it was beautiful weather today. So definitely come, a social activities always puts together a good event and come to Summer Solstice next year because it's going to be great. Sounds like they had a good time, but even if you missed out, be sure to get out there and make this summer a great one. To see the in-depth coverage of this fun event, visit our website and click on the full story. Students lined up three hours early in the Manwaring Center so they could be the first to buy something from the lost and found sale last Friday. Students were able to buy things like water bottles, iPads, flash drives, and school-approved workout clothing. The lost and found sold, I sold items that had accumulated throughout the semester and had not been claimed for more than three months and were now available to sell to the public. So coming into the Lost and Found, I think the students really expect just to see day-to-day -day things that they need, but at a really cheap reduced price. It's almost like Deseret Book, but for BYUI campus. Um, and with that, the water bottles usually go the fastest along with flash drives because they're both things that students really need, but they're so cheap. So people come in there just looking for those first, and we're usually out of those pretty quickly. So. The Lost and Found sale occurs every semester, and to find out when the next sale is happening, you can look it up on the events calendar on the BYUI website. Outdoors activities cooked Dutch oven style this past Wednesday. Meat, stew, peach cobbler, watermelon, and roasted biscuits were available to those who came. The event was open to all students who were interested in learning how to cook using Dutch ovens and enjoy great food in the process. How you cook with a Dutch oven, you light up the briquettes and eventually they'll turn from black to ashen gray. And then you take the briquettes and put them underneath and above the stove, making it hot like an oven just like you would at home. You can cook anything. The next Dutch Oven Clinic will be held on July 2nd. Visit the BYUI website to buy your tickets today and join the fun. Coming up, we've got the inside look at some of the, the semester's biggest performances recently held on campus, as well as a new hangout spot at the nearby Hemming Village. That's after the break. Understand the importance of getting the most out of what you've got, and that sometimes the things that you want aren't really what you want. Because I know that every donation goes a long way. Donate to help your community. Visit unitedwayidaho.org today. Students retreated with a great technical show at iCover this semester. The Summer Thunder theme was a hit with students, but it took a lot to put this event together, including the Activities Committee taking care of promotional work and the technical crew spending all day Friday and Saturday preparing the stage and audiovisual work. The event was a great success, and it finished off with a great dance and light show. I really enjoyed the light show. I thought that was really cool. Um, and when they did the oldies songs, Let It Be, made me cry. So um, I felt like there was a nice variety of songs. And the thunder sound was really cool. Eye cover is held near the end of every semester, so be sure to come to the next performance towards the end of 2014. To get the full look at how the event went, check out the full story on our website. This past Thursday, the Rick Sticks Percussion Group got their beat on at their summer concert. Consisting of both a drumline and an ensemble group, the students worked hard all semester to prepare for the show's inspir the inspiring show. The show was a mixture of beats, rhythms, and melodies, and was enjoyed by many. It's not typical music that an orchestra would play or that a choir would sing. It tends to be very just interesting music and interesting rhythmically. Um, it's, it's fun to see this versatile um, 
I guess, section of the orchestra being used to its full extent. For the full story regarding this concert event, check out our website at www.byuicom.net and click on the story link. Recently, many BYU-Idaho students put on the ultimate talent show. 12 students were selected from the 28 that auditioned to participate in BYUI's Got Talent. Many talents were showcased, such as juggling, singing, beatboxing, and even spray painting. BYUI's Got Talent is a show made available through talent activities and has had many people working hard to make it a show to remember. Um, I just hope that they're excited and they had fun. Um, the lays, we had a, like a luau theme, so everyone was kind of wearing a lays, and, and um, we made sure that the lighting was all very bright and colorful and energetic. And so we just want people to, I just want people to have fun and be able to, to see everyone's talents and, and have a good time and, and uh, enjoy themselves for the summer. If you miss this semester's show, don't worry, it will be back in fall 2014, and there will be plenty of opportunities for fun, whether you're looking to audition or just watch. Check out the full news story on our website. Looking for something fun to do? Located in the top of the Hemming Village shops is a new fun hip venue called the Atrium Live. It's a place where you can watch shows, hang with friends, and enjoy some delicious drinks and snacks. For its grand opening, the Atrium Live hosted hypnotist Sean Fetters. The audience was involved from the start and had quite the experience being a part of his hypnotic performance. It was very interesting. It was definitely something I've never experienced. And to be honest, I mostly just felt really relaxed and just kind of out of it. I was really tired. <laughs> and um, I don't know. It was just, yeah, I just felt out of it and tired. To find out what events are coming to the Atrium Live, follow their Facebook, Facebook page, The Atrium at Hemming Village. Up next, find out what happened during this last week's Rec Sports handball game, as well as a run that had participants glowing. Coming up after the break. <laughs> Our top story this week, the FIFA World Cup USA vs Germany soccer game was held and though the match was very intense, Germany ended up winning the victory 1-0. But don't worry, even though Germany won the game, USA still advances to the round of 16. Be sure to catch the next USA game on ESPN on Tuesday, July 1st. This past weekend, BYUI's Wellness Center hosted its first Neon 10K run. Students athlete woke up early extra morning to put on their neon running attire to arrive at the 8.30 a.m. check-in. The course of the 10K started from the Hart Stadium track, then circling the campus twice. So after a few minutes of stretching, students got into position behind the starting line to kick off their day bright with a neon run. Um, I've always enjoyed being very active since I was young and I have a very competitive spirit about me and so I wanted to see how I would compare to the other athletes but I really look forward to coming out for the Neon 10K next year. The Neon 10K turned out to be a success and will be hosted again next year. The Neon 10K is available for any BYUI student who wants to participate. To learn more about the event visit byui.edu. Handball is a team sport in which two teams of seven players each pass a ball to throw it into the goal of the other team. It is a sport that you may have seen during the Summer Olympics and last Saturday you may have seen it in the Eye Center. This fun sport is available to anyone and everyone through the Rec Sports program. Team handball is where you have a goalie box on each side and um, the other players aren't allowed in the goalie box. They have to shoot from outside of it. You can dribble the ball while you're running, but that's about it. You have to shoot from outside, and that's how you get points. It's really fun. I played it back in high school. Handball may be making an appearance again in future semesters. To see the full story of this event, visit our website and click on the link. Well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Scroll Digital. Be sure to visit our website for more videos, including the full stories mentioned in this broadcast. And follow hashtag Scroll Digital on your favorite social media site. Have a great week.